Hey, this is Isaro with UX in Motion, and I'm going to show you how to create a sticky nav in After Effects. Okay, so why a sticky nav lesson at all? So After Effects has this interesting thing with parenting, which if you do a lot of UI animation, or if you watched my, my previous tutorials or bought my tutorials, you know I'm a big fan of parenting for the UI UX prototyping workflow in After Effects. Now, one of the problems with parenting is sometimes you want to like turn it on and turn it off and turn it on again, but you can't do that. So I'm going to show you the, the workaround in this tutorial right now. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and download the source files um, that it's included with this, the After Effects file and the design file. Um, you can just click the link and, um, and download it and you can follow along. Lastly, if, about, if what I'm saying makes no sense to you, go ahead and go to click the link here and go watch my fast start uh, tutorial series. It's just for designers who've never worked in After Effects who want to get started with UI UX animation prototyping. Just put in your email and I'll send those to you. And if you're looking to take your like skills to the next level, you can just go to my site, uh, uxemotion.net, and I've created a whole ton of tutorials, professional tutorials for UX UI designers to just take it up to the next level and just start just going crazy with this stuff. So that's the housekeeping. Let's jump into this tutorial here. So you can see that what I'm doing is I'm driving this whole animation here with three keyframes and I'm using parenting and I'm turning it on and off by splitting my layer here. So I'm going to show you how to do that now and I'm just going to import my file and get started. I'm going to bring it in as composition, retain layer sizes, double click that and check out our asset. So you can see that it's really simple. I just have this sticky guy here and and a really long layer. Like if I just scroll out, it's this really long layer. Okay. So basically what we're going to do is we're just going to parent the sticky layer to our background layer here and animate our background layer first. So I'm just going to hit a position keyframe and move over a bunch because I'm going to be scrolling this a lot. And we're going to go up a ways. And essentially what I'm doing is I'm going up up until where the sticky header goes and past it so we can actually see what's going on. And I wanna make sure I'm not getting the end of my layer here, so we'll just go maybe right about there. Now, if I scrub through this, I can see that our sticky layer is just parented, right? It's just passing through here. Now, the first thing I'll say is what you wanna to do to make this work is you have to get your timing right because it's all, you're splitting your layer at the precise moment. So I'm typically a fan of blocking and refining, which is a style of uh, like animation where you block out your, your keyframes, get it all done, and then refine the timing. In this case, you really have to refine the timing. So I'm, um, just to get the velocity curves going, I'm using uh, Ease and Wiz here, and I'm just gonna apply uh, a, the Quint expression, and I'm just gonna do a, a preview here and just see what the timing is, because I wanna get the timing right. Now that's a little harsh, so I'm gonna back off Check that out again. I'm gonna say, you know what? That's okay for this, this uh, lesson here. So now I know exactly where to split my, my header right here. I can go to just the right frame I need. And it looks like it, looks like it actually ends. It's, it ends like right on this frame, which is actually kind of rare. It's usually like, you know, it's usually here. So we'll just say it's there. And so I can show you how to work with this because it's, it's not typical that it lands like precisely at that design lockup. So at this frame, so keep in mind, if that was confusing, the idea is that you wanna get your motion down first, and then once that's done, then we're gonna split the clip here and unparent. So now with this layer selected, I'm gonna hit Command Shift D, which splits the clip at this playback point right here. Now with this layer, I'm gonna unparent it. So I'm gonna say none. So now this first layer here, it's still parented, right? That's this guy, still parented. And then while this other layer is moving, it's just going to stop. Now what I can do is I can position this layer exactly where I want. I accidentally hit caps on the keyboard. I'm just going to scooch it up here. And what's happening is now it just locks in and now it stays. And now what I can do is I can grab my first keyframe here, paste it back here so it just goes up and then goes back down so I can show you how this works. I'm gonna move my work work area over here and now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna find the place where it actually starts up again. I can see that it's here. So I'm, I'm gonna hide this layer for a second 
and I'm gonna go, and that's the frame that I want right here. So I'm gonna split this again because it's coming back on the way down. So now I can split this layer again, and now I can parent, I'll turn it back on, turn on both these guys, and I'll turn it back on. And now what I can do is I can parent this layer back to the background layer again. And you can see that it's a little bit off down here. It's really hard to see, but um, you, basically there's a slight color difference, which is my design bad, but there's a slight color difference. So now I just want to nudge this layer down so it comes in right here. And now when I play it back, I'll just scrub through it for you because it's so quick. Now you can see that when I play it back, it just moves with it. And, I, and I'm basically what I'm doing here conceptually is I'm parenting and then I'm stopping the parent and then I'm starting the parent and how we're achieving that is by splitting the clip because there's no other way to do that in After Effects. So anyway, I hope you got some value for yourself from this, um, this tutorial here. And um, it's, it, it's interesting because I've noticed one of the things is that it's kind of hard to see it on the playback because the motion is so smooth. Um, but it works great and you can actually use this technique with multiple sticky headers. So I've actually done real world projects um, helping clients where they have multiple headers that you kind of scroll and then it forms another one. Use this exact same uh, technique and it will serve you well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next tutorial.